Welcome to Pint in the Sky. I am Katie Mack. And I'm Alan Duffy. And we're going to talk about the Hubble Deep Field today. Yeah, so thanks to, and I'm going to have to look at this. Sorry, John. John, 4834615, catchy, catchy Twitter handle. Good name. Uh, for tweeting in this question about the Hubble Deep Field. Yeah, so, um, so the, the Hubble Deep Field um, is this amazing image of our sky of, of the deep universe. And there are actually sort of three versions of the deep field. There's the Hubble Deep Field, Hubble Ultra Deep Field, and Hubble Extreme Deep Field. Um, and they're, they're different. They're not the same pictures. They're not all the same galaxies. But basically, the Hubble Deep Field, the project was, we're going to take, we're going to look at the emptiest part of the sky we can come up with. So we're just going to take a part of the sky that seems to have nothing in it. And we're going to sit there with the Hubble, tel the Hubble Space Telescope we're going to stare at it for 10 days and see what happens. Yeah. And they did that, and it was incredible. It, was, it looked like this empty piece of sky. It turned out to have thousands of galaxies, about 3,000 galaxies um, out in the very, very distant universe. And this was, this was an amazing result. And so a few years later, they did another uh, integration on a different part of the sky for 11 days this time. And this time, they had a better camera, so they picked out 10,000 galaxies. That was the ultra deep field. And then a few years later, they did the extreme deep field, which is the same part of the sky as the ultra deep field. And they found 5,500 more galaxies in the same field. So really amazing. Like, it, just, it was this awesome thing that just showed us how full the universe is of galaxies. Like the far, farther you go out, the more you see. There's just, the, the universe is just, is just teeming with, with these structures. Yeah. And the hope um, at the time was that by looking at this empty patch of sky, you're going to be able to see distant objects. You're not going to be blinded by the guys that are lying really close to you. And I don't know what the thinking was at the time when they did this. Certainly, it's just been a gold mine. It is a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Um, they're creating luminosity functions. So that is the number of galaxies, you know, with a given brightness luminosity. Um, Going all the way to now, redshift ten, which is absurdly far distance. So remind us how far, how 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 young is the universe at redshift ten? Uh, oh, it's below a billion years by that point, right? So yeah, this yeah. is, um, yeah, the distance is ridiculously far, yeah. but it's it's easier to think in terms of of you know, the age of the universe at that point. So we're catching galaxies, you know hundreds of millions of years old, just after the Big Bang. Yeah. And they're really big. Like yeah. some of them are actually fully grown Milky Way near sized objects, which is, it's kind of like um, taking a family album and finding, you know, a toddler who's already aged, like, you know, like, <laughs> like the dad or something. You know, like, it, it's just, it's really creepy. I mean, it's, you know, well, that would be creepy. The family album yeah, would yeah, be creepy. Yeah, that would be really This creepy. is inspiring, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's um, yeah. what we work on to, to investigate how those early galaxies, first galaxies, grow so big so fast, and what that can tell you about dark matter and just generally a galaxy's work. So you've used some of the data from these deep fields, right? Yes, yes. So uh, a paper which uh, I'm going to future proof this by saying it's a link here. <laughs> um, I worked on, yeah, just trying to figure out, is, does this make sense to form yeah. that many stars so soon after the Big Bang? And actually, surprisingly, yeah. Mm. Um, the simulations, the models, all look like it's feasible. Uh, the biggest thing for us in the theoretical community is probing to smaller objects, because that starts to tell you even more about dark matter. Right, right. So. And, and there's, uh, these days we're also getting some really, really cool new techniques to look even farther into the early universe yeah. uh, with these kinds of fields. There's, some, there's a new project called the Frontier Fields, that's a Hubble project, and they're trying to find gravitational lenses so they're trying to find um, distant galaxies that are behind some kind of galaxy or cluster that's bending the light and magnifying the light from that distant galaxy so that we can see things that are so far away that we'd never be able to see them unless the, if they weren't magnified by this natural magnifying glass that is a gravitational lens. So really super exciting stuff. Yep, and yeah, early results are it's going to do amazing yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really, really great. So, and it's just, it's just a, I mean, these, fields are all just incredibly inspiring pictures. I mean, you look at this, you look at this, the picture of the extreme D field or something, 
and each little each little dot is a galaxy, like an entire galaxy. Yeah. And they're incredibly distant and in this totally different kind of early universe time period where everything is everything is different, you know, everything is new and the fact that we can actually see those directly with visible light is is incredible. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think we can say amazing <laughs> enough times. Yeah. Think, truly the, the awe inspiring nature. But um, I hope you can feel impressed. Certainly as a professional astronomer, yeah. you are too. Like it's it's still yeah. magical. Yeah. But more importantly for us is it's crazily useful to tell you this. Yeah. Really great science. It's not just yeah. a pretty picture. No. Yeah. But the pretty picture would be enough for like forty days worth of public sure. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Millions, definitely. but yeah, yeah. 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 All right. All right. Well thanks thanks so much for the question. And uh, we will sign off. I'm I'm Astro Katie on Twitter, and I'm Astro Duff. And you can follow us and look for more videos. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. See you soon.